in the full name of each person appearing. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, this is the team, the legal team that appears for the Honorable Deputy Governor, Senior Counsel Katwa Keegan, Counsel Wil Wilkinson Ochoki, Counsel Kevin Michuki, Counsel Wilgrida Majong, and myself, Honorable Speaker, Counsel Silvanas Osoro. Honorable Speaker, the members of the County Assembly appearing include uh, Honorable Amos Onderi, Honorable Boss Mairura, Lillian Gore, and uh, the Honorable Edna Kwamboka, the Honorable Ibrahim Ongubo, Honorable Osoro, who, who are those people you're mentioning? The members of the County Assembly and who form part of our witnesses, Honorable Speaker. No, no, no. That's not uh, what I asked you to do. I asked you to give the names of the team, the legal team, representing the Deputy Governor. Okay, Honorable Speaker, I also confirmed that the client, His Excellency Deputy Governor, Dr. Robert Munda, is also present, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Much obliged. Very well. Now, on behalf of the Senate, I welcome the team of the County Assembly and the team of the Deputy Governor, members of the public and the media to, this, to the Senate and to these proceedings. Finally, I will now invite the clerk to read the charges against the Honorable Dr. Robert Monda, the Deputy Governor of Kisi County. Order number two, reading of the charges on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of Honorable, Doc, Honorable Dr. Robert Monda, the Deputy Governor of Kisi County. The Honorable Dr. Robert Onsare Monda, the Deputy Governor Kisi County, kindly take the stand. Honorable Dr. Robert Onsare Monda, the Deputy Governor of Kisi County, the charges against you as received from the County Assembly of Kisi are as follows, and I quote, Charge number one, gross violation of the Constitution or any other law. The particulars of the charge are as follows. Whereas Article 179.4 vests Deputy Chief Executive Power on the Deputy Governor, and we are as in consideration of the provisions of Article 10 and 73.1, A3 and 4 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, insofar as it connotes the manner in which a state officer is, is expected to exercise assigned authority, Article 75.1 of the Constitution, as read with Sections 8, 9, 10, 11, 24, 32 and 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012, and sections 9 and 11 2A 1C of the Public Officer Ethics Act obligates a state officer to behave in all senses in a manner that is devoid of comp comprising public or official interest in favor of personal interest. The Deputy Governor's actions of requesting for a bribe, receiving a bribe, is meant to compromise the integrity of the recruitment institution of Guasco and the same is driven by nepotism, favoritism, improper and ulterior motives, and for corrupt purposes in complete disregard of the provisions of Article 73.2b and Article 73.2c of the Constitution. By virtue of the Deputy Governor requesting and receiving a bribe of 800,000 shillings, he is in breach of the provisions of Article 232, 
which obligates public officers to observe the values and principles of public service that include high standards of professional ethics, fair competition and merit as the basis of appointments and promotions and Article 73 2D of the Constitution that requires all state officers to be accountable to the public for their decisions and actions. The Deputy Governor, Dr. Robert Onsare Monda, violated Articles 10, 73, 75, and 232 of the Constitution, which bind state officers while discharging their duties in offices inter alia. The Gusi Water and Sanitation Company, Guasco, advertised for various job vac vacancies in April 2023, and the said Deputy Governor alerted Dennis Mokaya's father that he could secure his son a job upon uh, paying a bribe of 800,000 shillings only upon his shortlisting and being interviewed for the post. The deputy governor used his office to improperly confer a benefit to himself when he solicited a sum of 800,000 shillings from one Dennis Mokaya and his family in the pretext of securing uh, for him a job for the said post of commercial manager of Guasco, an entity of the Kisi County government. The deputy governor received a sum of Kenya shillings 799,000 through the M-Pesa platform as follows. The first tranche on 28th May 2023 of Kenya shillings 249,000 sent in three tranches of Kenya shillings 150,000, 49,000 and 50,000 by Dennis Mokaya Mosati on 0725-487-300 to the Deputy Governor's Safaricom line being 0711-860-700. The second one was Kenya Shillings 260,000 to the Deputy Governor's Safaricom line being 0711-860-700. And the last tranche in the sum of Kenya Shillings 300,000 was delivered to his offices in Gusi Stadium in Kash. In an attempt to influence the award of a contract of employment to Dennis Mokaya, the Deputy Governor sent via M-Pesa a sum of Kenya shillings 100,000 to the Managing Director Guasco in order to influence her to employ the said Dennis Mokaya, which request was not acceded to by the Managing Director Guasco and the money returned via M-Pesa to the deputy governor. While realizing that the deputy chief executive authority vests in the deputy governor, was there need for the deputy governor to grease the palms of the managing director of Guasco to give Dennis Mokaya the said post. Mr. Dennis Mokaya complained to the county assembly to intervene in its oversight capacity. Mr. Dennis Mokaya thereafter registered a complaint and recorded a statement with EACC and submitted, among other documents, the advertisement from Guasco on the vacant post to be filled, his letter of application for the job, the invitation letter from Guasco to attend the interview, and his M-Pesa statement for the month of May 2023, detailing the transfer of the Kenya shillings 249,000 to the deputy governor. Despite this huge payment made, Mr. Dennis Mokaya and his family never secured the job. On informing the Deputy Governor that he would be forced to make a formal complaint to the Anti-Corruption Commission on the matter, the latter threatened his life and his family. Consequently, it formed the former to go into hiding. Charge number two, abuse of office. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The actions of the Deputy Governor, the Honorable Dr. Robert Monda, of using his office to solicit for Kenya shillings 800,000 thereby conferring a financial benefit on himself and subsequently sending Kenya shillings 100,000 to the Guasco Managing Director so as to influence the award of a contract of employment to a preferred interviewee, he has abused the office of the Deputy Governor and is in breach of Articles 73 and 75 of the Constitution of Kenya, Sections 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 24, 32, and 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act by breach of public trust, failing to carry out the duties of his office in a professional, transparent, and accountable manner, using his office to unlawfully enrich himself, 
failing to conduct the duties of his office with impartiality and objectivity in accordance with Articles 10, 27, 73, 2B, and 232, and practicing favoritism and engaging in corrupt or unethical practices and in engaging in actions that bully a person. The Deputy Governor is in violation of Section 1112A1C of the Public Officer uh, Ethics Act that provides that a public officer shall not use his office to improperly enrich himself or others and shall not accept favors from a person who has an interest that may be affected by the carrying out of the public officer's duties and shall not for the person's benefit of himself or another use or allow the use of information that is acquired in connection with the public officer's duties. As well as section 61A, uh, C23, 2 and 3 of the Bribery Act that provides that a person co commits the offense of receiving a bribe if the person requests, agrees to receive, or receives financial or other advantage, intending that a relevant function or activity be performed improperly by that person receiving the bribe, and in, in anticipation of or as a consequence of a person requesting for or agreeing to receive or accepting a financial or other advantage, an activity is performed improperly by that person or another person. The deputy governor unilaterally used the office to intimidate and cow his family into hiding for fear, uh, fearing for their lives in contravention of Section 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012. In furtherance of abuse of his office, the Deputy Governor has continuously diverted county enfor enforcement officers from their course of duty to work in his farm, a portion of land allocated to him by his father. Since he came into, into office, there have been at least five officers working in the farm, a clear demonstration that the county chief, ex uh, that the Deputy ex